Welcome back to Houston Life. They have had a great season and now looking ahead to winning a division championship right here on their home turf. That's right. The Houston Roughnecks need our help to fill up the rig, as they call it, and pack the stadium for tomorrow's South Division Championship game against the Arlington Renegades. And here with more is Emmanuel LRB, and he is a linebacker with the Houston Roughnecks. Welcome in. Huge game tomorrow. Yes, Are yeah. you pumped? Excited. Super excited. Uh, so excited. Stoke and, and, you know, South Division Championship at U of H TD. ECU Stadium. Uh, we've like uh, occupied it now. That's our home stadium. We call it the rig. So we're trying to fill the rig up. Games tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And we just hope to have everybody in Houston there to be able to support, watch some good football, and watch us get us a championship. So for a little background, Emmanuel, mm -hmm. why don't you tell everybody how long you've been playing football right. and, and things like that? I know you've been playing for a long time. Yeah, I've been playing for a little minute. Um, so I was previously um, in the NFL before this, um, played for four years, or really five years in the NFL, and then um, suffered injuries, uh, tore my ACLs, one on each leg. And that brought me to the XFL. And the XFL is just like a opportunity for guys that are, you know, we have the draft coming on and those are guys that are coming from college. But then there's like guys that are, you know, you've been in the league for a certain time of period, but you're trying to get back into the NFL or like you've had injuries or, you know, whether you take an unconventional route, right, you didn't get drafted and things like that. This is just another opportunity for guys to be able to use their stuff to play in the fall. Hey, you know, one ACL is bad, but two ACLs, yeah. that's, that's a tough comeback. Oh, for sure. Good definitely. For definitely. Yeah. yeah. That, that The second one, the first one was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the second one. And the second one was just like, oh, Lord, like, God, why? why? You know, you're asking, right. like, you're kind yeah. of praying to the We're, we're glad that. you're back on the field. And for fans, what is the XFL experience like compared to NFL? Um, I think it's more so like a personal experience, right? Because a lot of these players that you're seeing, like, for instance, like a lot of our guys, we have a really good team. So a lot of us are going to be able to play um, come the fall. And so this is like an opportunity where you know, in the NFL is like a huge, big thing, right? And you don't really get to kind of interact with players, right? There's like players here and then the fan experience, there's, you know, you're trying to bridge that mm -hmm. connection. The XFL is a cool part because you actually get to interact with the players, right? spring football a lot of these guys are you know have had played in the NFL at one point or if they haven't they you know they're coming from college and they were really good players so it's like for you to be able to see your players in their kind of like earlier stages before they come to the fall where you know they're part of the you know the league and there's that big shadow realm there the XFL is more of an intimate experience before the fans and we got to mention you're a hometown guy yes, from yes, Houston yes. A, fel a fellow Rice Owl yes, must say yes, that so yes, go Owls and love sure. that and love that you're representing Houston right here in Houston yeah I mean this is born and raised from Ailey Texas uh, went to straight Jesuit for high school and then went to you know shout out to Owls was a Baker College you know I know you're at love, love it. it you know it's a little bit of a rivalry <laughs> yeah, there but at the same time no I love the city of Houston um, you know I love to do work in the community with everything it's doing and just be able to you know football's king in Texas right so it's always great when you have a professional team that's doing well and we have that opportunity to you know have a championship here tomorrow. I, got, I gotta know as a hometown guy is that does that raise the stakes for you does that make 100%. you nervous to play in front of basically everybody from your hometown you could look in the audience be like yeah. I know you I'm related <laughs> right. to you I, I know, know you yeah, I went right, to right. school yeah for sure I don't think nervousness is the thing I think it's more just gratefulness right like mm. my parents have watched me play you know in high school and college or you know being from the hometown but um you know and a lot of friends and family members but now I get to have all of them come in whereas before they'd have to fly to a venue and right. stuff like that now it's like yo it's just like we're in college again. Like, come on down, get to see me play. I've had little nephews and cousins that are like older now, so they understand the game of football, which is like so dope that I get to share that experience with them. And so it's now something they can picture in their mind for when they get older and they're trying to chase a dream at the same thing. Oh, that's so cute. Now, first of all, what is this magnificent trophy that we're oh. looking at right here? Um, so that right there is the XFL South Division Championship that will be competing for tomorrow and then being able, I can't touch it right no, now. I was say, there's yeah, a I'm not, I'm like, I, this is as here. close as I can get. Y'all really, what people don't realize is there's a force field that's right here. I can't, even if I try to lean, I'm not going to go. You really just can't, right? I can't, I can't. And, but tomorrow, you know, we're playing and manifesting that we'll be able to win the game. So I'll be able to, you know, me and my teammates will be able to host this trophy and be able to have it with Coach Phillip. Tomorrow you will be touching the, the trophy. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma yeah. Put that out. Manifest that, girlfriend. Yes. Yes. Well, you guys Speaking are looking at the details right now. Houston Rough next 2023 XFL South Division Championship tomorrow, 6 o'clock, TDECU Stadium. Tickets start at only $24. And, yeah, still you know, available. It's going to be a great game. I know when people think of the XFL, a lot a lot of people think of The Rock. For sure. Right? Have you gotten a chance to meet The Rock? Yeah, I mean, like I haven't like personally personally met him, but like he like, comes to our events and stuff like that. I mean, he is a massive human being. I will say that like, <laughs> the name does make sense, right? The Rock, like he is big. He is I'm surprised big. he hasn't like elevated to the boulder yet. The he, boulder. I mean, he should. I mean, The Rock is. You should rock. talk to his people. I real talk. Like we need to talk to the media that. people. Let him know. Like we need to go ahead. He, as he gets older, you know, you go from being a rock to the, you know, the boulder. boulder. 
I love it. Yeah, next well, level. Yeah. Also, what do you think about Catherine Knox? I mean, costume? I think y'all are you. decking those things. Honestly, like those are amazing. I feel like y'all can go ahead and twirl and model those things. Like y'all can be the XFL's new run. No, no, no. I was gonna say, put me in pose. Yeah, I'm modeling. Like, 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 come on, right. And I love a good costume change. Yeah. The okay. Show, for so sure. Don't sure. <laughs> worry. We'll put you. We'll put you all in. You know what I'm saying? I can go take plays. Y'all can be the linebackers, and y'all can go ahead and call. Ooh, not with boulders. Not boulders. Not boulders. Not boulders. Rocks and boulders are not good for me. But Emmanuel, best of luck tomorrow. So excited for you. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. And tickets are still available for tomorrow's South Division Championship game. As we mentioned, we do have a link to get those on our website. So just head on over to HoustonLife.tv to get started. I'm excited. Going to be a good yeah. game for sure.